You guys wanted more quick and awesome gift ideas for the holidays. Well, here they come. I'm John P. Welcome to Geek Geek. This episode of Geek Meet is brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Okay, let's start with the bad news. You see this flux capacitor USB charger? I know, right about now you're like, awesome! But then you order it from ThinkGeek and it arrives and you're like, this sucks, viciously. Don't buy it, it's a piece of junk. I don't like this thing! And Hulk. Smash. Flip it. And I'd like to apologize to any of you who bought it before when I first saw it and shared it. This is why we don't normally recommend things we've not tried. Great Scott. Moving on to the sweet stuff, and when I say sweet, I'm talking about five pounds of gummy bear. That's right, for about 30 bucks, you can get one giant gummy the size of a thousand normal gummy bears. Oh, by the way, all the links can be found at geeky.tv forward slash gift guide. Now, in case those giant gummy bears are tainted by some sort of radioactive solution that turns people into zombies, you can pick up a zombie apocalypse survival kit in a sardine can for nine bucks. Feel free to step in any time. But be warned, the only weapon in it is a razor blade, so I'm not sure what good that's going to do you unless you want to just slit your wrist, which kind of isn't actually surviving now, is it? I'd much rather have a cold steel Bowie knife, but I digress. Speaking of things that come in a tin, Callie's been smelling a little bacony lately. I was gonna say something, but then I figured out it's just because she discovered the bacon soap in a tin for seven bucks. Then, when I went to her house to de help her decorate for the holidays, and all she had were these seven dollar bacon ornaments, I thought she was going a little too far, to be honest. See what I mean? Which reminds me, which reminds me, don't drink and drive. If you're out for the evening and you've been drinking, get a ride, call a cab, or find some other safe way home because getting arrested for drunk driving can cost you a lot more than an arrest and a fine. You can face legal fees, court costs, the loss of your license, and more. Right now, cops all across the country are cracking down on drunk driving, and they'll see you before you see them. Drive sober or get pulled over. Plus, I don't have that many friends, so I can't afford to lose any of you to vehicular death and dismemberment. <laughs> so play it safe this holiday season, okay? Wanna buy somebody a robot this year for the holiday season? Well, Callie recommends you pick something up from Boston Dynamics. But personally, I think Sphero is a little more uh, friendly. Here's a little orb that you can control with a cell phone, and as you play with him, he gets better and faster and faster. It's addictive and worth every penny of the $130 price tag. Callie also told me to tell you that if you don't get a Boston Dynamics death machine, at least get a Wowie MIP robot for $115 bucks because it's a robot, and she's still over there creeping me out. By the way, if you're also a robot freak, you can, for 10 bucks you can get this little robot tea infuser to make your tea, as long as you're okay with submerging your little metal friend in boiling hot water. Personally, I'd rather spend my $10 on these fake tattoo arm sleeves that are so cool, even David Foster, who has real tattoos, was wearing them. Yeah, for like $10 you get just dozens and dozens of them. They're awesome. Remember, links are at geeky.tv forward slash gift guide. Okay, just a few more for you now, starting with this $25 Minecraft wall torch. Yeah, it's like an 8-bit bit 
pixel LED torch. I mean, it's not like one, it is one. And speaking of light, how about a light up bow tie for 20 bucks? You gotta admit, this would really class things up when you're wearing nothing but your birthday suit. Finally, while you're having all this fun handing out gifts to everyone, you might as well use the Polaroid Z2300 to document all that joy by immortalizing the moment in a photo. Take a pic, then print it out as a sticker. Trust me, your friends will love you catching them in all sorts of awkward positions. Dave. So that's about it for this episode. But remember, from now through Christmas, we're offering a free GeekBeat quickie with any purchase from our store. So head over to geekbeat.tv forward slash shop and pick up anything, even a quickie. Okay, that's it for today's show. Have a good one. And if you find anything cool and cheap to recommend, tweet me at John Pose. Peace. I gotta go show off my tattoos. Here's a blowtorch. Here's my arm. So I wouldn't normally be doing that kind of thing with my skin. Or, black. or for the water lovers, come summer, they'll appreciate the BRV1. Hats, which, but it's better because it's bigger. Wait, are you referring to a beverage dispenser backpack? I am.